you for checking your sister out. Welcome back to my channel, Second Divine Within. I'm your sister, Corinne, doing a reading on the two brothers, Harry and William. That's a lot going on. Let's just say with the royal family. Um, today is January the 12th, 2020. This video probably end up going out. I'm going to do my best to get it out tomorrow, January the 13th. So anyway, with that being said, I welcome you all. Much love to my new subscribers. Thank you. Uh, please like and share this video. And But if anything, you know, please leave a comment. You know, I welcome all, you know, people, um, views, you know, and it's okay to agree and disagree. Let's just, just disagree with love. That's all I ask. Just disagree with love, especially if you want your comment to be seen, okay? Just disagree with love. That's all I ask. All I do is um, I share my gifts of knowing and I use tarot cards as a backup. For the most part, I would pretty much, you know, just focus on the person and meditate on them. Uh, this has been ways I've been able to retrieve information on whomever it is that I'm uh, doing, doing a reading on. Let me just say that. So anyway, as you see, I'm doing a reading on um, Prince Harry and Prince William. I want to know two things with this reading. And I'm, I'm going to do my best to make this, you know, reading short. So just bear with your sister. But I want to make sure I'm giving you, you know, clarity as well as confirmation. Uh, maybe information that maybe many of you already know. You know, I'm going to let the spirit reveal this information. But before, I went ahead and meditated on the two brothers, um, on the two brothers, Harry and William. And what I wanted to know was, um, why is Prince William and Prince Harriet at odds? Okay, that's number one. This is the answer I had got right here. It's not in order, okay? But the answers are there. I want to know why are they at all? Because they, they used to be once so close, you know? I mean, their mama really raised them to be very, very close. So what happened, you know? Um, what, what is the root to, you know, these brothers, you know, um, just, you know, pretty much going their separate ways and, and that bond, that close bond that they once had, you know, it seemed like it's just fading. You know, what, what's really going on here? And the second thing I wanted to know is why Harry and Meghan stepped down um, from the royal family. You know, why are they dis distanced themselves from the royal family? So that's pretty much what this video is about, okay? But before I get started, before I get started, like I said, these are the cards that I pre um, did earlier, okay? As far as, you know, shuffling my cards, shuffling my deck. And I, and you will be seeing me shuffling my decks with the next sets of questions. This is the answer I came up with already. And I've already seen the card. I'm going to let you know ahead of time. I've already seen these cards. Um, but what I am sensing from this, from these cards, let me just say that real quick. Everything I say is allegedly, okay? It's not facts. It is allegedly. But what I'm doing, I'm relying on the spirit to reveal information to me. But by me just alone meditating on these brothers, okay? I don't really care for scandals. I really don't. But I'm going to just put it out there what I am sensing. I'm sensing family. Before Harry got involved with his wife, Megan, okay? I'm, I'm going to say way before he met Megan. I say that. I sense that Harry and his brother, wife, Catherine, um... They had a really close relationship, okay? They had a really close relationship, uh, a little too close. I don't sense that they slept with each other or anything. Um, let's just say this is a scandal that the inside knows about. Let me just say that. Uh, I don't sense that they slept with each other or anything like that, but they got a little too close. Let me just say that. And I do sense that he really, really generally do love her and she loves him, okay? Um, how deep that love is, only those two know. Uh, but it is a, you know, forbidden love, shall I say, because that's his brother's wife. Um, I don't sense that, you know, it was intentionally, intentionally, shall I, shall I say, but I do sense that these two got a little too close, you know. Um, and for some reason, even to this day in the present, I do not sense that she is happy in her marriage, okay? I do not sense that. Presently, I do not sense that Catherine is happy in her marriage with William. Within, deep down within herself, she still 
you know, have feelings for his brother. Okay, let me just say that. And I'm going to stand on that. Everything I say is allegedly. Okay, I'm putting it out there. It is allegedly. It's not facts. This is just this is just what I'm sense, sensing the spirit because I wanted to pretty much get a sense of what's, what was the hidden root, okay, of the downfall with these two brothers, shall I say. Obviously, she saw something in his brother that she was not seeing in her husband. Let me just say that. Um, you know, obviously she, you know, because uh, Harry does come off as being more charming and uh, more appealing as far as looks wise as well. Let me just say that. But anyway, um, this is what I'm sensing. Let's see what the spirit has to say, okay? And I'm through with that. But everything I say is allegedly. But I do not sense that they slept with, with each other. I don't sense that, but they, but they did get a little close. You know, maybe, you know, too much, you know, sharing their deep feelings, um, intimate intimacy as far as, you know, uh, maybe some kissing and all of that. But um, that's all I'm going to say on that. Um, let's see what the card has to say. And I'm going to read it up on each card briefly. Ahead of time, family, <clears throat> excuse me for the background noise. I apologize for the background noise. <clears throat> the first card is Choose Wisely. I feel like this card is representing Harry. Choose Wisely. The next card, Deception and Envy. Deception and Envy. This card right here represents William. Deception and Envy. The next card, Conflict and Defeat. This card represents Harry. Conflict and Defeat. Conflict and Defeat. The next card, Obstacles and Challenges. This card represents Harry. Obstacles and Challenges. The next card, Patience. This card represents Harry. Patience. And last, <clears throat> Memories of Love. This card represents Harry. Memories of Love. Need I say more? Memories of Love. His fondness, his closeness with Catherine. <clears throat> That close that closeness between them, it did end it, shall I say. Um, but you know, when it comes to the heart, you know, um, you can't help who you love. But do you have love for his wife, his current wife? Yes, he do. He do have love for his current wife, Megan. But he still have, you know, have still have a fun love for Catherine as well. Okay, because they really, really um, bonded, shall I say, in a way that pretty much kind of crossed the line, shall I say, and um, somehow um, I'm sensing that William found out about it. All right, family. I'm using my psychic deck card. I'm going to real quick read up on each card to give many of you a general um, idea of what each card means. So they have many, many meanings. This card represents Harry, okay? Conflict, I'm sorry, yeah. I'm sorry, choose wisely. The number Five, I'm sorry, the number five mental card represents significant learning and, ch and change and how you handle yourself at this time. I'm sorry, and how, and how you handle yourself at this time is vital to your overall well-being. This card could relate to a lack of sensitivity in taking action or in response to condition or situations around you. This needs... For sensitivity could relate to you or someone else in your life. Even though 
<clears throat> a battle can be won. It's important to elevate the cause and pain to both parties. Okay. So, Sometimes it's best to surrender and walk away if no one answers or victory can be achieved. Okay. Don't assign blame. Become deceitful or set out to get revenge for this result in the negative energy becoming part of you. You are being tested on how delicately and gentle and gently you take your next step. Remember, remember, everything in your life is an opportunity to learn and grow. Remember, everything in your life is an opportunity for you to learn and grow. So this card is basically saying that, you know, Harry needs to choose more wisely and pretty much learn from that um, situation, okay? Because at the end of the day, it wasn't really, it wasn't even um, worth it, shall I say, especially for it to tear, for it to tear up um, him and his brother's, you know, uh, relationship, their, their, their close bond that they have, you know, um, it wasn't even worth it. <clears throat> okay, this is William Deception and Envy To be forewarned is to be forearmed This card comes at a time When individuals or conditions aren't what they appear to be How well do you really know the people around you? Do you really know the people around you? Are they telling you everything you need to know in business? Make sure you gather all the necessary information so that you're aware of and understand all the facts before continuing. Your work, you worked hard. Don't let others take from you what is rightly yours. You hear that, family? You work hard. Don't let others take from you what's right, what is rightly yours. Unfortunately, some people may be envious of your accomplishments. This card also represents a time of sudden and unexpected change or when plans that you've undertaken may not turn out exactly the way you envision. Have a plan B as a fallback strategy to prevent future problems. Use this card as a reminder to be prepared. It's better to be safe than sorry. Conflict and defeat. This represents Harry. The number five mental card represents significant learning and change and how you handle yourself at this time. It is vital your overall well-being. This card could relate to a lack of sensitive and taking action or response to conditional situations around you. This card needs for sensitivity to relate to you or someone else in your life or even a battle can be a battle can be won. <clears throat> it's important to evaluate the cause and pain to both parties. Sometimes it is best to surrender and walk away. If no answers or victory can be achieved, don't assign blame. Become deceitful or set out to get revenge for this results in the negative energy becoming part of you. You're being tested on how Dedicately and gently, you take your next step. Remember, everything in your life is an opportunity, an opportunity to learn and grow. Obstacles and challenges, Harry. This card represents the obstacle, power, struggle, and challenges that you must face in order to overcome them. This card could be a difficult period to get through, but it's not impossible if you open your mind and see the bigger picture of how something went wrong. Don't get caught up in it. Just pause and stand. Excuse me, I apologize. I had a bird. I apologize. Don't get caught up in it. Just pause and stand back for clarity. Observe where adjustments 
are required or which decisions may need to be changed to enable you to move forward in a positive, positive direction. Life really is all about learning. Don't play the victim. Take the knowledge you gain from this experience so that you can apply it to similar situations in the future. This card often comes forth when completion is around you, whether it's in your personal or business life. This is an excellent time to think creatively and ask yourself, how can I make myself shine above all the rest? How can I make myself shine above all the rest? <clears throat> <clears throat> Harry, the card is called Patience. This card sim signifies that the need for patience, self-control, adjustment, and moderation, and balance when dealing with others as well as yourself. This could be in the area of how you think and work and how you handle school recreation, the people in your life, or the spiritual path that sets before you. As a soul, you have more than one aspect of yourself to draw on for support. It's all about interrogation and learning to blend and balance both the physical and the spiritual. You're an ethereal being in a physical body, enjoying the human experience. Therefore, since you both, you should honor all of you. If you go through life denying yourself the joy of combining these aspects, you're missing out on so much of what the world has to offer. Why is self a life that's half lived? The patient card reminds you to open your heart and mind and allow yourself to listen to others, people, ideas, thoughts, and perspective. Blissful harmony can be achieved when everyone learns to work as one. All benefits, listening, sharing, and reaching out will help you renew your faith in yourself and in humankind. You are you will become more aware of the miracles around you as well as the ones that you have hand in creating. Okay, family, memories of love. This card represents um, Harry. You may find yourself walking down memory lane at this time. This card could indicate that an old friend or acquaintance from the past may step back into your life or it could even resurrect loving image from days gone by. Does this person, this, these happy forgotten moments or those innocent childhood memories encourage you? To recall and welcome the energies of love, is there a message or a lesson from these fond recollections that could benefit you in your present life? The number six card relates to support, dedication, unity, and a need for balance in the areas of emotion and love. Your heart and soul are asking you not to dwell in the past. You hear that family? Your heart and your soul are asking you not to dwell in the past, but use the inspiration and joy from that time to assist you in the here and the now. It amazes me when I pull these cards because I tell you, the spirit realm knows all things, especially those things that are hidden, you know, it brings about to the marvelous light. But everything I say is allegedly, it's not facts, but of course I'm relying on the spirit when I pull these cards. So real quick, <clears throat> I've already given many of you um, my insight of what I was sensing about um, why the fallout happened between the two brothers, okay? And these cards actually backed me up, or if anything, gave many of you an insight of, you know, what the little hidden issues were between the brothers, you know, as far as that little inner conflict and what how, and how it kind of grew, you know, from there. And it was pretty much a lot of you know, envy and jealousy amongst the two, shall I say, you know. Um, 
So I'm going to leave that there. Now I want to find out why Harry and Meghan stepped down or distanced themselves from the royal family. This is what I want to know. Let me see. I'm gonna let me throw these cards right here. I'm gonna put them back in the deck. So I want to receive clarity. Why is Harry and his wife Megan? Why now? Why are they dis distance seeing themselves from the royal family? Why are they stepping down? Okay, I was told to stop. <clears throat> All right, I was told that because I'm not in divine order, so I'm just going to Flip them over, but before I get started, please know that whatever come from these cards, you know, um, to many of you, it is not facts. Um, it's all I have to do is say it's allegedly, okay, but I'm relying on the spirit. So uh, if you don't agree, it's okay to disagree, just disagree with love, okay, family? So I'm going to go ahead and reveal the cards. May we all receive some clarity. Wow. <clears throat> okay. The first card, material and spiritual prosperity. Material and spiritual prosperity. In this card, patient and planning. <laughs> wow. So him and her being thinking about doing this, they been thinking about breaking away. Patient and planning. The next card, temptation. Temptation. Temptation had a lot to do why Harry felt the need to uproot his family and leave. Okay, and it might and it may have a lot to do with him. You know, there were some things going on behind the scenes that could have been heating up. The last card, 
prosperity begins. Let me just say this. A lot of people feel like, you know, oh, they him or her made the wrong move and all of that. But you know what? Uh, it just might backfire on the royal family. I know Princess Diana, she was, you know, every she was, you know, everyone's favorite, you know, um, princess. You know, we just loved her. You know, she was like the American princess. Cause she, she didn't really go by the rules and the tradition of the royal family, and you know her children are the same way. Especially Harry, you know his brother's pretty much going by the book right now. You know, um, stay in faith, um, keeping up with the tradition, shall I say, um, carrying that image. But Harry is the one that's really trying to break away from that. He really is. He he pretty much want his freedom. He want to do things his way. All right, I'm going to read up on each card and I'm going to go ahead and end this video. All right, family? I don't want to make these videos long. And I apologize when I do. So the question was, why Harry and Meghan stepped down from the royal family, or shall I say distance themselves from the royal family? This is what the Spirit has revealed to me. All right, family, what I'm going to do is turn these cards around so many of you can see them. I should have done that from the beginning. I'm going to turn them around for you. I hope this helps some. Um, I go over each card, okay? Okay, I'm on this card right here. Material and spiritual. Prosperity. One's card right here. The number six. Physical card represents a peaceful, tranquil time when problems seems to actually disappear. A sudden bonus pay raise or even a promotion could be in the offering. It could be expected or arrived out of the blue. This card may also signify a group that has worked and strived towards the success of a common goal. A time of prosperity, balance, and harmony in your physical and spiritual existence is showing you that the practice of giving and receiving will bring you true riches. Look into your life and see where you can spread spiritual and physical wealth. You hear that, family? Look into your life and see where you can spread spiritual and physical will. Is there a person or a favorite charity that would welcome an act of kindness right now? Practice generosity, gratitude, and compassion so that you become, I'm sorry, so that, so that you continue to prosper in all the areas of your life. Practice generosity, gratitude, and compassion so that you continue to prosper in the areas of your life. So this is one of the reasons why um, Harry and his wife, Megan, decided to jet. Like I said, you know, um, he wanted to do his own thing, okay? His mom raised him and his brother to be about charity and um, to give, you know, give back. And that's still, all of this is in instilled in him and this is what he wants to do and his wife is definitely on one accord um with that and like i said you know um he pretty much don't want to follow the rules according to how the royals roll shall i say he want to do things his way and like i said him and his wife they are definitely on one accord when it comes to that they want to just pretty much break away and do things their way and they will still be successful at it because they are very uh, well liked. Patient and planning. So this is something that him or her have been thinking about ahead of time. Okay, this is nothing new. This is something that him or her has been planning ahead of time. You're a true artisan for you have the craft, skill, and knowledge, gifts, and talents to assist you even more 
to advance in a positive direction. The number eight always denotes prosperity and abundance, but in this case, it's your effort that have gotten you to this point. Good for you. This card often comes forth to honor and recognize in the individuals who are in the fields of art, design, music, and education. When you follow and build on your passion, the soul can truly express itself and can assist you to move closer towards your highest good. An opportunity could suddenly come with an offer or an apprenticeship. Notice if there are areas of passion that are trying to manifest into your world. When they arise, you will have amp moments to share them with others. The next card was Temptation. I truly believe this was the culprit right here, family. At the end of the day, this was the culprit, really. And I feel, it, I feel like it has a lot to do with Harry, okay? Not Megan, but Harry, all right? I've already given me a view of background, you know, of what I mean by that. This is a, this is a temptation card. When we become disconnected from the spirit, the source that once nourished us is often replaced with a different supply or substance or substitute. In other words, the connection is often forged with food, alcohol, nicotine, codependency to someone or even work. Hence the term workaholic. Many of us spend our lives trying to fill the void that was created when the link to the divine was broken. The temptation card is calling you to take a hard look at life and ask yourself, where in my life am I suffering from an addictive behavior? Is there negative thinking or behavior that's causing the life force to seep out of my soul? Are there people in relationships in my life giving me energy or, t or draining it? Learn to embrace your fears and all of your doubts so that every situation in your life becomes a learning experience. Gain the knowledge that the physical world teaches will help you transcend to a higher spiritual awareness. So that's interesting with this card. You know, it's saying, you know, as far as people that are close to you, like your inner circle or due to relationships, you know, there's somebody in your life that's, you know, um, giving you energy or draining it. I find it to be very interesting. But it also speak of other, you know, um, addictions as well, okay? You have to pretty much just read between the lines. But at the end of the day, he was dealing, he was definitely dealing with some kind of, of addiction, okay? And I don't mean um, drugs or anything, but I'm just saying, from what I'm sensing, uh, it has something to do with uh, re relations, shall I say, Okay. Uh, the stress of, you know, um, what I'm sensing, it has a lot to do with um, when it comes to his brother, you know, the situation with his brother and his wife. This is what I'm sensing in the spirit. But like I say, allegedly, but this is what I'm sensing. The last card, prosperity begins. Let me just say this, just holding this card. Um, I know that Harry and his wife, Megan, left. Uh, the Royals, uh, as far as, you know, um, being under the umbrella of the Royal family, you know, they pretty much distanced themselves and broke away, shall I say, uh, from their clutches and doing their own thing. I commend them for that. But I sense they're going to be just fine family. And I also sense the Royal family is pretty much going to treat them the way they treated Diana. I don't know why I feel like I feel that way. This is what I'm sensing. Um, but him and his wife are still going to be just fine. They they have they have that in them to still be successful and prosperous. You know, um, she has her gifts and talents as well as he has his and his training. You know, as far as coming up, you know. So um, when it comes to you know that charitable work and. You know, just him doing the thing that he loves to do, that he's passionate about, as well as Megan. They're going to be just fine. Because people love them. And um, just like they love his mother, Diana. And he's pretty much following in his mother's footsteps. 
unlike his brother. His brother's pretty much just going along with the traditions um, or what they expect out of him. But Harry is the one that's breaking away from all of that. Okay. He, he, he's the one that's shaking things up, just like his mother used to shake things up. And they don't like that. You know, they don't like change. So I'm going to read this card right here. Prosperity begins. This card brings a message of beginning prosperity, wealth, and new business, which could soon be in the palms of your hand. It may result from your hard work, past effort, and investments, or it could show up unexpectedly. It may even be presented as a gift. With careful and diligent planning, recent endeavors, and money-making ideas show great possibilities and promise of gain. This is a time to focus on the most beneficial outcome. Expect the best and envision that project or new job having a successful result. Feel it, see it, and most importantly, believe it. When you focus on abundance and the positive aspect of the material world and offer gratitude, prosperity, in all forms will flow even more freely. So at the end of the day, these cards speak for themselves. Megan and Harry are ready to break free from the clutches of the royal family. Okay, they want to do them. And they're going to be very successful in doing them. Okay. This right card here speaks for itself. They still will land on their feet. Regardless, they are pretty much the people's favorite anyway. Let me just say that. They're going to be just fine. They can always do books. You know, um, they can go around doing workshop lectures. You know, people would pay for them, you know, to do interviews. Um, you get what I'm going with this. Um you know, they both have big ideas, putting their heads together. They're going to do just fine. They're going to do just fine doing what they love to do, things that they are, the th things that they are passionate about. They're going to land on their feet just fine. The royal feet, wanna, the, the royal family want to see them fall on their butts and come back big and to come back. But I don't see that. I, I, I just don't see that. But for the most part, I do see, you know, them treating them the, way, the same way they, they did Diana. You know, pretty much like ostracizing them. Um, so don't go by, you know, what you hear on the news, what you see, you know, as far as them trying to, uh, you know, keep face as far as, you know, make it seem like, oh, you know, they left on their own terms. You know, um, you know, we, we, we didn't, you know, try to kick them out or anything. You know, they was having it hard on the inside. They really were. They, they really were having it hard on the inside. Megan and Catherine was not getting along. And I do sense that Megan is in the dark. She knows nothing about she knows nothing about as far as um, you know the royal family, um, the, the secrets, shall I say, that they you know definitely try to uh, keep hidden, shall I say? I don't know. But she could hear her rumors, but I sense that she doesn't know anything about the situation with um, her husband and his sister-in-law. You know. Um, but who's to say, you know, had she heard anything, you know, as far as people, you know, getting in her ear, telling her thing. I'm not going to say she hasn't. But for the most part, I feel like she's in the dark. Um, like I said, I don't sense that it went any further. You know, I made a little hug and a little, you know, kissing here and there. and But in, as far as them, you know, sleeping together, I don't sense that. I don't sense that they crossed the line that way. Um, I just... Feel, I just sense they get, uh, end up getting a little too close, you know, then just, you know, um, the normal, you know, love for your, you know, brother-in-law, shall I say, or sister-in-law. So anyway, family, uh, yeah, Megan and Harry are going to be just fine. Um, this move that they're doing, I feel like it's a good move. And I don't blame them. I would want to get out of the clutches of that. Um, well, I'm not going to say what I want to say, but 
I would definitely want to get out the clutches of the royal family myself, okay? <clears throat> so that's all I have for you today. I thank you for watching, family. Um, please feel free to, you know, leave comments, like, share, and subscribe. And we'll be back with more videos. I thank you. I appreciate you. And bye for now.